since we left you last time, we have not lost a game. Drawn a couple, but, you know, not too bad. We've progressed nicely in the League Cup to the quarterfinal. And today, you'll see the third round of the Emperor's Cup. And we're also going to play Relegation Threatened Gamba Osaka. Hi guys, Woody here. Welcome back. This is part seven of uh, Club Two in charge of uh, Montido Yamagata. And yes, we find ourselves fourth in the J League at the moment. Looking pretty good. We are, we are in that uh, Champions League qualifier, which is excellent, excellent news, uh, I must say. Um, results here have been really, really good. Before we get into them, can I ask you guys, if you are watching this and you're not yet subscribed, uh, if you could do, it would mean a lot to me. Uh, smash that like button as well. Trying to get to 500, that's the goal. With 30 away. That would be sweet to hit that very soon. Uh, so you saw us, it was a bit of a mixed bag last time. The draw against the Marinos and the loss to Kyoto Sanger was not good. We then played Yokohama FC in the league and it was a two all draw. They were two nil up after nine minutes and I was just shaking my head in disbelief. But then Chelsea, Celso Jung came on and, uh, no, not came on. He just decided to turn up and score two quick goals and we earned ourselves a two or draw. Uh, we then played our J League Cup round of 16 second leg and we won that comfortably 2-0 after our 3-0 uh, win in the first leg. Um, Mazotta here, he uh, he tends to only score in the cup. He's got five in three there and none in the league. So that's a little bit uh, disappointing, but... We're still abusing the um, the rules in that League Cup by playing trialists. We then needed penalties to overcome um, Oyokuma Fajino Okayama in the second round of the Emperor's Cup there. So it went to penalties. We missed one and they missed two there. Uh, Nishimura actually saved both of them from memory, but we dominated this game. 16 shots on target. The goalkeeper got an 8.7. Maybe I should sign this guy. Maybe not. He's 33. Uh, we then beat, um, do, 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 who is it? Osaka, 3-0, 5-2 over the Red Diamonds. Uh, a one-all draw with um, Kawasaki, is it? Uh, Ka Kashiwa, Reisol, one-all, and um, S-Pulse, one-all as well. Probably a couple of games where I think we... We, we got lucky in this one. They probably should have scored a couple more goals. And the late winner was frustrating. Or well, the late equaliser, sorry there. And then against S-Pulse, um, one, okay. Yeah, once again, we, we just seem to be conceding with a couple of shots. But young goalkeeper, I've explained all that. Uh, it is what it is. So as we head into July, we've got Gamba Osaka, who are 18th at the moment, which is just nuts. They've sacked their manager. They are really, really struggling. And this is a team who won the league not too long ago, 2014. I have a feeling as well that they also, also won, yep, they got Champions League there as well, which they won around about the same time, or 2008, so a little bit earlier, but, you know, a lot of pedigree at this club there, but they have sacked their manager, which is huge, huge news and great stuff for us. Oh, have they sacked their manager? No, they, they've got this guy. Where did they, yeah, have they sacked him? Yeah, he's only been here for 44 days. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, so looking to get over them and then we're going to play, uh, these guys, non-league Beluga Rosso Iwami, um, in the, uh, <clears throat> in the Emperor's Cup. So looking forward to play that. We do play, unfortunately, Kyoto Sanger in the J League, uh, in the J League, uh, the League Cup quarterfinal, which is a bit frustrating since they beat us, but that's what it is. Uh, I don't know if we've brought in any transfers since last time. Um, I do. Yes, yes, there was two. I brought in Sandy Alfane. He's an Indonesian right back or centre back. He's a little on the short side, so he's probably more of a right back. He's aggressive, and we just picked this guy up in a free. He was playing at um, this club in Indonesia, and he was just there on an amateur contract. And so I was like, oh, sweet, we'll get him in. He played a league cup game, and as you can see here, and then I was like, yeah, this guy's decent. Sign him up. So we did. Doesn't count as a. Uh, foreign player. And then our Turkish youngster who we had on trial, uh, I pulled the trigger and we have signed him. Uh, he does play that Mazala role really, really good, which we do actually now play a double flipping Mazala. So that is awesome. Problem is now we've got one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine foreign players. I'm only allowed five, but Tiago Alves doesn't really count because he is, you know, on his way out. Pablo Henrique is obviously a youngster, so he doesn't get too much game time either. Um, yeah, this is team today for Gamba Osaka. We've got Nishimura and goal. Bus gets it right back. Um, a captain shotter here. Henry O'Toole left back. Dudu in that deep line playmaker role. Uh, and then we've got Salafu um, Naka. Naka coming back from uh, from his injury, looking pretty good. What's the promise here? Oh, the promise is that the new Turkish guy doesn't affect his playing time. Izawa in that uh, playmaking role. Uh, Morishima had a bit of an injury there. Uh, Obi and uh, Celso Jung up front. Obi is playing fantastic. 14 goals for him. He's been on a great goal scoring run. A lot of them in cup. No, no, he's got 11 in the league. 11 in the league. Uh, and Dongo is back from injury just um, just easing himself back in. Um, a couple of substitute appearances here. Uh, a couple of starts as well, but just easing him back in. Hasn't scored a goal in a while. Still only has seven in the league, but not looking too bad all in all, I think, for our um, our form at the moment. But let's go and uh, hopefully pile a little bit more pressure onto Gamba Osaka. Now, we played them on the final day of the season last year in a game that didn't really mean too much. We had already secured safety just before we played them. Uh, so uh, so I'd, I'd like to get a, a little, uh, you know, just a little one over them here as well. It would be nice, put a little bit more pressure on them and obviously as well improve our standing for, uh, for a, uh, a Champions League spot. First highlight is a corner for Gamba Osaka, and it is headed away there, but Baba gets onto it. They're going to have a pop there, and they're going to score. I saw that coming a mile away. <sighs> They're shot on target, obviously. Yeah, that's... I mean, like I said, Nishimura is young, but still, I mean, come on. Dudu here with a free kick. Oh. I feel like that should have been a penalty. I feel like he kicked my player in the head. So two on the ball now, driving forward. Everyone's at sixes and sevens. He goes down the box. Buff gets picked it up though, and he slams it home for his second goal of the season. That was great play from the right back and the left back out on the uh, the same flank there. But uh, that is also our first shot on. I've just paused the game for some weird reason. That is also our first shot on target, and uh, we've scored it as well. So. All right, I guess I can't complain too much about shots on target going in. It's another corner now for Osaka. Hopefully we can stop a shot on target, and we do do, do that. Nishimura there uh, getting down to uh, scoop that one up. Oh, I was going to say Dudu there harassing the uh, Gamba Osaka players from the ball. It is Henry now. Comes out to Shota. Shota finds Salafu. Salafu to Izawa. He's got a Bit of pressure on him, and he goes all the way back to the captain. Jung now, the pressing forward. Great play here. Salafu, Naka, O'Toole. It's Obi, and it is the left back now getting in on the act. He, the right back has done one, and then the left back scores now as well. O'Toole, that is great play. Excellent lead up play, though. Fantastic. Okay, we've scored with two shots, so I stop complaining. Highlights coming thick and fast. We've had. Just under 30 minutes of play, and it was already 2-1. Um, another goal here would be a bit of a problem, but it is headed over. Nishimura there was uh, well-placed to make the save. Uh, throw in, throws a corner there. Shota finds Obi. Back to Shota. Finds Henry. Henry likes to have a pop from now. I'll tell you that. Shota now, he's free. Is he going to have a pop? I didn't need to the captain. I was going to say, it wasn't even an absolute thunderbolt. It was just lovely. Lovely part, of just, like sort of like a half pass, half shot kind of thing. Is he just come back in, got in his right, and just just chipped it in, and that is great. Just for half time, three shots all on the back of the net. Gambo Saka really struggling. Obi couldn't quite get that ball out. It was a good pass from um, uh, Izawa, I think it there. Uh, I think it was Henry. Now comes back to Dudu, finds Jung. John goes all the back, all the way back to shot of the goal scoring. It's the defenders uh, scoring the goals today for uh, for Yamagata. Busquets now driving forward, puts in across. Obi's there. He heads just wide. Unfortunately, that would have been an absolute killer for Gamba Osaka had that one gone in. 
Uh, things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. We're not falling for the trick of, oh, you're doing really, really well, despite the fact we're 3-1 up and then drawing three all or something stupid like that. Gambo Stark are now getting back into the game. I'll zoom in a little bit here. It's, it's the, the wheel on the mouse sometimes. It accidentally touch it. We zoom in out. O'Toole now putting pressure on the Gambo Osaka attacker there. Nishi now driving forward, but Henry has that well covered, and that is an absolute disaster of pass. Henry. I suppose I do have him as a ball playing defender, so that's kind of like what you would expect from him, but sometimes you think, though, in that situation, common sense would prevail and he would just hoof it away. We do retain possession here. Obi now had some great moves. Corner now for Gamba Osaka. Wanting to get back into this one, Obi heads it wide. Just having a look at the player ratings, Izawa is not having the best of games in that attacking midfield role. Good block there. Salafu clears that. We might get him off. Uh, also looking at Naka is also looking, uh, you know, a little bit... Uh, I mean, he's on a 6.6, but Chelsea Jung now on a break here with Obi. Finds him early. Was it too early? Obi Jung and it's four. Get in. Chelsea, Celso Jung. I keep saying Chel, but it's Celso Jung. Uh, Jung and Obi combining their great partnership. Those two are forming absolutely fantastic. I thought Jung had gone a little bit too early here to Obi, but uh, Obi pushed wide. Jung carried on through. We got the cross, and Jung was there with a fantastic finish. Right. We're going to make some early substitutions, I think. Um, here's a welcome come on for Morishima. Uh, like I said, just getting back from fitness. The, uh, the attacking midfielder. Uh, Naka can probably come off for... Uh, oh, yeah, what are we going to do here? Um, it might be Katano. Um, and we'll push Katano up behind the striker and Morishima can move into that. Mazzaro Salafu is looking tired, as is Buskets and uh, Shotter. Just leave those guys for the moment. Um, our Empress Cup game is literally like in two days from this, but I will rotate the squad. And what I have noticed about the Empress Cup, there is no rules for form. Salafu, Jung now, Katano now, fresh legs, Morishima, Obi chips it over the top. I uh, can't get it on target. Yeah, so the Empress Cup, no rules on foreign players, no rules on homegrown, just whoever you want. So I'm looking forward to playing quite a, uh, you know, rotate-ish team for that. Jung now with his back to goal, find Busquets. Can he get an assist along with his goal today? Goes all the way back to Dudu, whose pass is not very good. And I was going to say Gamma Osaka, looking to break there, but it's a ball over the top to really, really nobody. Um, Katano now, going back to Henry, at fault for one of those goals. My mouse has gone a little bit funny. And uh, Henry has just lost possession there. Gambo Saka now trying to get back into this one. Oh, this is dangerous play. Ugh. And there he is. Oh, come on. It can't be allowed. I was going to say, Nishimura beat him at his near post there. It does happen a lot, the youngster. <sighs> disallowed. Thank God. Thank God that's disallowed. Like I said, we have... Busquets now, but as I was saying, like I said, our, our defence definitely needs a uh, uh, sorting out over uh, at, at the end of the season. Uh, Shots is getting a little bit on. Uh, we, we do need a quality centre-back uh, to hopefully just galvanise the team. The guy we're looking at in J-League 2 with the, the hair, um, he doesn't want to join me just yet. He's just signed a new contract, so unfortunately we can't get him. But Jung gets his second great play Salafu the architect and Cel Cel Celso Jung is an absolute it's just an amazing striker we will make those last couple of changes as we do have some quite tired tired legs uh, out there at the moment uh, we will bring on Sandy uh, Alfin for Busquets who's obviously having a cracking game uh, we probably need to bring Ndongo on he needs to get up a little bit of game time, excuse me. And then the last one, let's just pause that. Thank you. I don't like it running in the background there. Um, is it going to be Takamine or Fujiwara now? Fujiwara here he can play. He's not a great deep line playmaker, so we might just leave him off for the moment and we'll bring Takamine on for, uh, for Dudu, uh, who's looking a little bit um, tired. 
So the five subs all done. Go and make me proud. A little bit of complacency there, but that's okay. We are uh, winning comfortably at the moment. And I think my mouse is actually run out of batteries. So that's why it's a little bit jerky. I do apologize for that. You know, nothing ever goes right, does it? And although the school line is looking very, very good as another highlight starts up now with Katana Salafu just all the time in the world to turn and has a pop. Deserves a goal. Played really, really well. The, uh, the Mazala got, got an assist. Double for Jung, though, and it is going to be a comfortable win here for Yamagata. There it is. Excellent work. To be fair, six shots on target, five went in. The goalkeeper had an absolute mare. Um, not too bad from Nishimura. Okay, four shots, two go in. I'd like some better return on that, but, you know. Well done, lads. Good win. Good stuff. Now, I'm having a look at the table here. We are actually only three points behind Antlers. They have a game in hand, so that is great stuff. Great stuff. As you can see, the top three teams here, us, Sanga, and Antlers, we, uh, we, obviously, get the, we obviously score the goals. Uh, just coming back, we've had our youth intake. Maybe I should change the name of this episode to uh, talking about the youth intake. It is excellent. A defensive midfielder, which looks pretty good. Goalkeeper's good. Well, it says it lacks the quality in goal. And we appear short up front. So I don't know how this is an excellent youth intake when weird. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, we're signing this kid. <laughs> we're signing uh, Nelio. He is a Brazilian goalkeeper, 17 years old, one for the future, a lot of potential. The plan is to get him in and get him to be Japanese, get him to be Japanese. I'm just going to have a quick look at the Black Leopards, see how they went. I can already see they got rid of Pitt and Love and installed Quinton Fortune in, as it looks like they finished eighth in the league. Pretty disappointing there for the Black Leopards. How did they do in other competitions? Um, the Nedbank Cup, they went out of... What? That just... off. Oh. I was like, where's where's the rest of the season? Where's the rest of the season? Let's just uh, let's let's just get in the Ned Bank Cup. So they were woeful in the Ned Bank Cup. The Telecom knockout. They lost the Kaiser Chiefs. <laughs> they got to the final and they lost. Okay, not bad. How about the MTM Eight Cup? They got to the final and they lost that as well. Oh my God! At Champions League, they made it into the group stage, but. They finished third behind the Sundown, so a uh, bit of a blow there. I wonder how the final went. Uh, Al Ali beating Remo Stars there. Mm, interesting. And then obviously in the uh, the league finishing eighth, but two cup final losses is a bit of a blow. Really, really disappointed there. Still a couple of players there from my time there, but you know, I'll boost them. How's Boosin looking? <sighs> looking really, really tasty. I'd love to sign in. Two caps for the national team already, which is great stuff. Great, great stuff. So, um, good stuff. Hopefully, the youth intake is a lot better than this. I don't understand youth intake sometime. Right, back for the game against uh, Beluga Rosso, playing a very rotated team. Uh, I've decided to go Nishimura in goal. Uh, Yamaguchi, who does occasionally play these games, he's not quite match fit yet. Um, and I just feel like Nishimura could do with a bit of confidence with a clean sheet. Uh, Alfane is going to be at right back. Fujiwara, Takamine, and Tokamoko make up the back four. Pablo, and Pedro, and Rik, sorry, in that deep line playmaker role. Uh, we've got our new uh, Turkish youngster, uh, Ozkel, in the Mazala role. And then we've got our Thai international. He's not quite a Thai international. He's kept under 23. Narong in that other uh, Mazala role. Katano behind the strikers, who are Ndongo and uh, Matt, uh, Mazota. Um, we've got Big Solomon on the bench as well. Uh, Okada is a young uh, homegrown player. He's got a bit of but a bit of potential. Uh, Naka Inuini. We've also got this youngster here as well, uh, Okano, uh, if we need some cover at centre back. And then Nakamura, left and right back. So I feel quite covered. I don't think we're you know I don't think we're disrespecting uh, this or anything. This is a non-league team, so we should really have way too much for them. I was going to say, watch us scrape through here with a 1-0 win or something or like, I don't even know if we go to penalties afterwards or, God, a replay would be a nightmare. But anyway, we are on the attack with our Indonesian right back and there it is. It is the Italian Mazotta. He only scores in cup competitions and he's done it again. But Sandy Alfane, 
getting the uh, the assist there from right back, the young international. He's 20 years old, 13 caps for the national team already. All right, that national team is Indonesia, but still. Here is our Turkish kid. He's got the headband on. Mazotta now, and it is Sandy Alfain coming back to Pedro Enrique Alfain. Oh, he's just been dispossessed there, but, you know, he's only young. We're learning. Ozko, Kong. Is it Kong? Do we call him Kong? Do we call him Kong? Kong. Maybe he's changing him to Kong. King King Kong. We'll call him King Kong. Um, Mazota now. Mazota is using all his power there and his strength to try and win the ball there, but he just can't. Tokomoto now. Go short to Ozko. Ozko Katano. We get the ball back and the highlight ends. Narong. That's his name. Narong. Not going to do the last name. We do have a free kick here. It is Takamine. He is pretty handy at these. As a pop, he hits the post and it is cleared by the Rosso defenders. Takamine, though, comes back to Narong and we lose possession. We need to get Ndongo scoring again. Takamoto now. Takamoto with the free with the free kick with the corner. Bobbles around the left back, scoops it back up again. He has a pop and he's hit the post as well. He's hit the post a couple of times this game. Um, as you can see there, I think we've got 12 shots already. Uh, obviously not on target, just the four. Takamai now, as we break here, Katano, Ndongo, Narong, Narong, Ndongo. Ndongo scores, Oliver Ndongo, finally, his eighth goal of the season. And that is a good goal for the young uh, Belgian slash Cameroon player to get on his comeback trail from a pretty bad injury. Goal kick now for the um, Beluga. Beluga Arosso. Pedro Enrique finding Ozko. Fujiwara now. On a yellow. Enrique Tokomokuto. Tokomoto driving forward. Can he get across in? He can. It is Mazarota. Mazota. Mazota gets his second. He is the cup king. The Italian just scores in the cups. It is halftime. We've had 19 shots, six on target, and absolutely cruising here. Absolutely cruising. I don't know what else I can say at that point. There's no real good team talk at halftime, and probably because we are a lot better than this team, we should be okay. And it is uh, Mazota on a hat trick. Comes back to Fujiwara. Ozko there. Alfin, the right back, back into Pedro Enrique. Alfin. Poor pass from the uh, international. And it is uh, Rosso on the counter now. Nanobi. Nanobi. Oh. And they've hit the post. And it could have been a goal there for Rosso. They'll come again, though. But Narong deals with that problem. A couple of changes coming in now. Um, just got a little bit of complacency. Uh, he only going to come on. He only going to come on for. <laughs> You know, and you're going to come on for Pedro Enrique. And um, we might bring uh, Okada. Okada on for Katano, who's he's struggling old Katano. I don't know. It's because he's a winger and we don't play wingers, and I'm forcing him to play behind the striker. But, oh, well. Got to throw in here. The man who's just come on, you know, he only in O, you know, ah, there it is. Narong gets a second goal of the season for the tie. Good stuff. It is for Yamagato cruising. We're always going to cruise in this game, you know. It's just good to show you guys some uh, some of the other guys who uh, who turn out some of those fringe players. You know, new signing Oscar. He hasn't he hasn't done much, but he's on seven point one. No wrong. He had seen Mazotta scoring some goals, which he doesn't always score goals because, yeah. All right, it's a goal kick, but we will make our last couple of changes here. Uh, at the end of the game, uh, Ozkel is looking a bit tired. I don't really want to take Ozkel off because there's no point. I am going to take Fujiwara off 
for Nakamura. We'll swap with uh, Alpha in there. And maybe we don't do any more. I mean, Oscar is tired, but there's no point in bringing Naka Nakawara on. Just leave it as it is. Just leave it as it is. Just the one sub. A 4-0 up. We've cruised this one here, as we should have against a non-league team. God, they've picked up some bookings, and they had a player sent off. Jeez, they really haven't had a good day. Tokomoko now. Will it be five? There goes the cross in. The Italians there. No wrong. Oh, someone should have got that in the back of the net. Mazotta has missed out on a hat-trick there. I feel the wrong has missed out on a double. It's full-time. Quite comfortable in the end. Eight shots on target. 32 in total. Uh, Mazotta getting man of the match there. Yep. Well done. That was pretty, pretty easy in the end. Hopefully those guys picked up a little bit of money. We do get Grampus, who are ninth in the league uh, at the moment in the fourth round of the Empress Cup. Still some J-League 2 teams left in, left in there, which is, is good. Uh, Manzotta gets man of the match. Like I said, he is the Cup Cup goalkeeper. Look at this guy. Eight games in the league, two assists, but in the Cup, four and five goals. He is an absolute machine in the cup. Everyone's happy. We're doing good. Excellent stuff. Let's have a look now at the uh, schedule. So we have a bit of... Do we have a break? I thought we had a break here at some point. Where's the break? Well, was the break back here? I can't remember. I thought we had a break in July. Maybe we don't. Oh, God. That Grampus game is has snuck up on us. Anyway, uh, we're going to play a fair few games. Maybe we even get the uh, the J League Cup quarterfinal second leg in or something. Um, we'll see how we go there. But like I said, half a dozen games or so under our belt. We are looking really, really good this season. I cannot believe how well this team is going um, from last year. Basically, it's just, just scraping past uh, relegation. 16th there, like... Tosu, Segan Tosu, there was only goal difference to separate us and only two points uh, from getting relegated, which is just crazy. And now we've only lost four games all season and uh, we are three points behind the leaders and Antlers, which is just nuts. When you look at the games we've lost, okay, we lost to Senga and Antlers, who are top of the table, FC Tokyo, who are eighth, and Belmare, who are 17th. So realistically, maybe the, the Belmare game we shouldn't have lost. We're on 48 points. We're the same with top of the table. It is crazy. We do obviously have to play uh, Kashimi Antlers here. Oh, didn't realize it was so close. So close. Kyoto Sanger on the last day of the season. It's going to be pretty, pretty impressive. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed all of that. And if you have, if you could subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.